What's up guys? It's Chase with Energy to Conquer. Today is day nine on this experimental energy or experimental journey to get more energy. Uh, if you guys haven't already, like, subscribe, share, follow, whatever it is you do, and go check us out on our website, energytoconquer.com. Uh, today's day nine, and today I did my workout. These are long workouts. As I've said before, I ain't gonna go into that, but today I think I finished in about an hour and 40 minutes. Pretty tough workout, and a lot of cardio mixed in with the um, strength training. And so one of the things before when I've worked out is my after a hard workout like that, like my muscles they get all shaky, like my hands they get shaky. I'm doing that on purpose. My hands not that shaky, but but I get like that and it kind of makes you feel weird and icky after a hard workout like that and i know um, a lot of the post-workout supplements have probably got stuff in it for that but just kind of let you guys in on some stuff um, is one of the things i figured out and reading through um, some different articles and different things is that you know you need some carbs after the workout because what happens is you, you've deleted a lot of the uh, I guess glucose in your blood um, so are in your muscles and so that's the reason your muscles get shaky after a hard workout so what I've been experimenting with and one of the things that Jim Stepani says is eat gummy bears um, which is dextrose he says dextrose uh, converts almost instantly to um, glucose and so and, and I think he says corn syrup as well not high fructose corn syrup but just corn syrup I've stayed away from those things for a long time but as soon as I work out, I just eat a pack of gummy bears, and then uh, then immediately I do a protein shake. And I was still kind of wiped out the first couple work. I hit some, I hit some like the first couple workouts. It really wiped me out afterwards. And then I started doing that, and it helped. And then I started adding honey um, and some sugar. I either add honey or add sugar to my protein shakes. And I eat a protein shake right after my workout so almost immediately after just as soon as i can put everything up and then get the protein shake uh drink a protein shake um, i've also started eating if i don't mix any fruit into it i'll just eat a banana or something afterwards so i kind of get some carbs some fast carbs really quick and that's helped a lot with the recovery and it, it completely prevents that shakiness and then after that today um, I went and ran some errands with my wife, so as soon as I got done with my workout, I drunk my protein and we took off. Um, but I had been eating probably about 45 minutes after my workout, so after my protein shake, I eat about 45 minutes afterwards. Um, and I wasn't able to do that today, and it kind of crashed, like just feel all icky and stuff. And it's because I missed that, that I guess, snack or meal, whatever it is. Um, I don't eat a lot of carbs in that meal, but usually just protein but it still puts something on my stomach and maybe a salad or something with it so there is some carbs but it's not a carb heavy meal but I've noticed that by doing that and adding just a little bit of sugar I don't we don't really eat sugar in my house I think I've got a bag of um, pure grain unbleached or pure what is it it's pure cane sugar it's unbleached cane sugar and I think we've had that bag for probably over a year but uh, so I put like a tablespoon I started out with a teaspoon I bumped it up to a tablespoon or either add about a tablespoon of honey into the protein shake and then like I said eat the banana and eat a pack of gummy bears and then I eat a meal after that but it seems like the combination of doing those things really prevents the shakiness and the ickiness and really the a lot of the fatigue that comes after a hard workout like this because I'm doing these workouts every single day and I'm sure my body's adapting a little bit but like I said, even before when I've done hard workouts, um, you know, I've kind of had that ickiness and you kind of, you get shaky and it's just, it's just this weird feeling. But it actually, according to the Jim Stepani, when you do that and you, and you give your carbs back or the glucose back to your muscles and get back in your blood as quick as possible to replenish those uh, reserves, that it actually it helps you on your next workout to not be weak and fatigued. And I've not really had any problems with that. Um, but I am taking creatine. I do take some other uh, amino acids, but 
that that's it. So I'm this just straight creatine and straight. The other stuff is amino acids for um, to increase nitric oxide in your blood, which uh, some people say that stops working after a certain age, but I can tell a difference. But it basically makes your blood veins and, and I guess your vessels it makes them more um, flexible so they can expand. When you see big bodybuilders and they've got uh, big veins and it looks like they're the size of pencils. Um, that's kind of when you when you get your muscles and you start working like the more blood flow you can get through those veins and the bigger those veins as you get older those veins become less flexible and it becomes a lot of problems and you know there's some I've got a great podcast on that um, that I listen to and I'll try to find some of these resources and I'll add them or maybe just have a different video on those but there's a lot of information on that but also when your veins become less flexible it just causes all sorts of problems but one of the th areas that improves in um, just with the creatine is is also to your brain so blood flows to your brain to your brain so basically it's it's doing everything on a cellular level and it's kind of getting lost in that topic but i just wanted you to know like i'm not taking any pre pre-workout any post-workout i take creatine before my workout and i'll take those nitric oxide supplements um, before it's two pills i take those before the workout then after the workout i take a protein powder with another uh, serving of just straight creatine mixed in with the protein powder and that's it so but I've, like i said i've been adding the sugar or the the carbs and doing the different things and i've and i've done it without the fruit and with the fruit and it seems like with the fruit it really helps i don't know if it's i don't know if it's just the extra carbs or what it is but I can tell you, I mean, I wouldn't go too crazy with the carbs, but just that little bit, that boost completely makes the recovery different or post-workout different. And then having that meal makes a big difference as well. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. And tomorrow I'll see you guys be day number 10. Hope you guys have a blessed day.